Hi Ed Kane everyone. Velnish, welcome. I am yours truly, Oynish Glorentine Grandis. And in today's, in this video, I'll be sharing with you what Grandis means to me. And in the previous video, we looked at Oynish and Glorentine. Now we're going to look at Grandis, but also draw that connection with the other two as it relates to the food and subsequently the development of the language. So, like in the first video, apparently you'd have noticed that each one of my name, the first, second and third names, all have capital letter in the middle. And the derivative from that have the common. And apparently the capital tend to be the names and then the, 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 the um, lower case tend to be related to the food. It's no difference in terms of this one. So grandis means resurrection of life. And it comes from the idea that as a Christian I look forward to the second coming of Jesus Christ. Probably by then I'll be dead if I'm not dead by then when Jesus comes. That's a plus. But if I die then um, I'll be happy to know that there's provision made for me. But not only for me only but for anyone who, who, are, who, who believe in him will have that same privilege of being resurrected to immortality. To be with him forever, to live in peace and harmony as it was intended when it was created, when we were created, or our forefathers were created. So, for me, Grandis with a capital D in the middle reminds me of this resurrection. And it means that each day, I can live with that hope that things are going to be better. So, I, my first name is Oynish, meaning feeder of the people. So I'm busy working, being me, doing what I do. And glory in team with a capital T means in season with God. Mean that, yes, during the journey, <laughs> things changes and you know, you have your ups and downs in life. Different seasons, different experience. However, when all is said and done, my hope is to be with Jesus when he comes. So each day I get that additional drive to move forward. Never giving up. Always pressing forward to be better, to be more efficient, to give back to life, to give back to my community, to give back to my society, to do my best. Because at the end of the day I won't be around. Because we all die at some stage. You know, some of us are fortunate to live to 100, some not. But each time we get life, each day we get life, we appreciate it. But the ultimate for me is to be with Jesus when he comes. And I think that's reassuring for me because I, it's hard to stand by and see all that suffering in the world. And you know, we always want to ask God why this is happening. But I'm looking forward to the time when he'll be able to explain it to me. But till then, be watchful and be ready, but occupy until he comes. So I'm looking forward to be resurrected with him. Now, with a lower case, it means seasonal, seasonal oinish menus and recipes that aid in the development, in the improvement of health and quality of life. That is seasonal oinish menus and recipes that aid in the improvement of health and quality of life. In essence, it's still um, reflecting that idea of resurrection. That as we live healthy, as we eat healthy, I'm not saying that food is the only means of staying healthy. There's exercise, there's getting enough rest, there's keeping a mental faculty intact. There's this idea about social interaction with family, friends, all these things are important, but there's also the spiritual aspect where we're in tune with God. 
So food isn't the only thing, but because we're looking at food in the context here, in terms of Oinish, we're saying that while with a capital D, grandis means resurrection of life, as in looking forward to the coming of Jesus, we can still experience partial resurrection of life in terms of diet. When we start to eat seasonal, but the idea is that Oinish food already start going down that trend that it's promoting the consumption of seasonal stuff and it's more focusing on fruit and vegetable consumption in terms of other food by eating more fruit and veg it can help us to improve life now we have to take into consideration that eating the fruit and vegetable raw is the ultimate there's no question about that so Oilish is not replacing that concept, but we still need fruit and veg in other aspects other than eating it raw. Because you know that many people, probably yourself, might not eat certain fruit and veg raw. And there are certain fruit and vegetables that need to be cooked anyway, so it just depends on the time. So I'm just talking on the context that no, this condiment is no adding fruit and vegetable to the diet by adding it to, to, to different food products. So obviously when you cook it, you lose the vitamin and um, the, the vitamin content and so forth. But it's a secondary means of health promotion. Now grandees aids in that. Why? Because oilish is the condiment, but also the language itself. Oilish go on something as it's recommended by Durantino. Look at the seasonal chart, it tells you that this, these things are in season. And this is the, the Oilish name for it. So in the right recipe, that's the Oilish name for it. The fruit or veg that's on health promotion from that locality. But then, you see, we have a problem here because now we've got the condiment going on, say, meat. Are they the condiment, are the salt, are the oils going on vegetable? What if then you've got the, the condiment in the form of sauces going into desserts? So what the idea is how do you create a classification system to sort of distinguish what is what? Because then everything will be done haphazardly. I would imagine this is what you get in terms of jerk. You've got jerk chicken, you've got jerk fish and so forth, but it doesn't address a lot more stuff. For example, it doesn't address seasonality, it doesn't address, te address the idea of texture, it doesn't address the idea is, okay, what if you've got one fruit on, in the condiment and health promotion and you're using another food product that the, 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 the condiment won't go on and but that fruit, fruit or veg is still on health promotion what would you call it? this is where um, grandis becomes handy because now grandis takes the condiment which make a particular product per se or getting ready to make a particular product glorantine that tells you what's in season and how you would term it in terms of its seasonality and maybe what you'd call a vegetable fruit and vegetable so you've got orange the food and the language developing you have the seasonality but then the important part with grandis is it put everything into context by putting them into classes so instead of having a long name with the recipe grandis shorten it by putting them into classes so the, the, the recipes into classes and then the menus into classes and make them very short. So it means that you now have recipes with few words that explain many things. And this is significant because now with this aspect of it, it means that you're putting together different food, food products in such a way that it improves your health. But you do so seasonally that in December this product is called this but when you move into the next season it is called that and this is where um, grandis is important it gives everything a classification structure I'm not saying you don't have a classification structure for Anish you do 
but that's mainly just for the condiment how you would class the condiment but with oilish the food itself it doesn't explain in terms of oh, when you gonna start to combine various food food together because not all food you put oilish products on no some food will probably stay simple but what would you call them if you've got for example an oilish chicken with roast potato and roast carrot as opposed to oilish chicken with rice and planting it becomes a challenge but again when you come to a menu a full menu what if you've got on a health promotion broccoli and broccoli is in the bread or broccoli is on the the vegan product but then it's mixed with rice but then you have dessert that's also on a health promotion because maybe in the cake there's an oily sauce it becomes difficult if you're going to just depend on the oilish condiment on the product because now you're dealing with a bigger context not just a small recipe you're dealing with a menu in terms of a starter and main meal and dessert and because of grandies it's able now to put all this into context and structure it into the class so you might get two three four words probably most four maybe five words that describe an entire menu that include your soup your with bread if the bread is an oilish bread or it's the soup that's an oilish soup and the main meal where this product is on health promotion but this isn't on health promotion and the sauce or marinade is on this and, and not on that then you come to the dessert where you've got the oilish ice cream where this fruit is on health promotion but that is whatever is not on health promotion <coughs> Grandies put everything into context and structured it into a class and make it simple. So it, there is a pattern wherein, okay, as long as it's got rice and peas and this is unified, it goes into this class. If all this is put together and served with this particular juice, it's in this class. And with that type of pattern, then Irish food can know have a seasonality that governs it but also a classification system to put it in structure that in the future when this new Jamaican food is used in restaurant it's pretty straightforward you just call a recipe three or four words the most and it sort of encapsulate all the not the ingredients all the different recipes that put everything together and I know generally when you go to a restaurant you might have a menu you have three course meal and in some case four cor four courses in the petty petty four at the end for nibbles you, you might get moose bush before you start all this stuff but it's all compartmentalized and you it's a big menu and trust me it's, it's nice sometimes you go to a restaurant and you know, especially our friends, you want to sit back and you go through the list. However, the few, I'm not saying I'm here to change anything that's happening. No. It works. A lot of stuff works. But in terms of oilish, when we're talking about promoting fruit and vegetable, saying that this particular fruit or vegetable is on health promotion, and then these things start to go into products and the names start to change altogether, it needs a different structure. And this is where no grandis becomes handy because it's limiting instead of having a long sheet of stuff that gives you a lot of different explanation for stuff you might have four to five words that explain everything because in oilish working with grandis the classification system put them together so what it means now you'll have oilish the food Glorantine, the seasonal chart that give an indication as to what fruit and vegetables in season and should be on health promotion. And then you start getting ready to make products from these fruit and vegetables and start to write them in Oinish um, names. But once you start to get more complex, when the many and recipes start to get big, 
they need a different structure now to put things into perspective and make it simplified and that's where grandis comes in so as time goes by and oil niche start to develop you start to realize that as i said it's not like jerk wearing you can just maybe cheat and said okay i am going to not use scotch bonnet and use another paper and and and, and maybe the person is none the wiser especially for people who don't know jerk and whatever you tell them is jerk they believe that's what jerk is so they can even not put pimento and put something else and people just accept that is jerk you see it, it's easy to 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 culturally appropriate it that way and that's what's happening and many Jamaicans are angered by that however with Oynish and as it developed firstly all of Oynish is governed by the language that's for sure as it's developing still early stage but Oynish food is directly linked with the seasonal chart called Glorentine which is also directly linked with the entire menu and recipe classification system under the Grandis menu which is also linked with Irish so it's like a triangle but the important thing is remember I said earlier on my name is Irish but my name is also Grandis I'm looking forward to to be resurrected when Jesus comes but also no as I looked at food as I look at food I'm thinking of working with food, not for myself, but also for my community that will help to give a better quality of life outcome in terms of the health promotion of fruit and vegetable. That's the speciality of this menu to promote fruit and vegetable consumption. So it doesn't take away from your, your meat and your vegan products, because those you'll probably have anyway. But it's the, it's the idea of going back to seasonality. Yes, you might have your avocado imported to the UK or to Scotland. Yes, you might have certain product, but do we make use of what's here already? That's what Oynish is about, going back to the seasons. But this time, instead of plain bread being plain bread, the bread can become Oynish bread because now you can add different vegetables. You see, it's not unusual in any culture to find people putting vegetable or even fruit in bread of course you've got people who have done that before but have ever considered have they put seasonality to it where they said okay each month each week or each season the bread is going to change according to the season and it will be given that name and the recipe will be given that name and if it's included in a menu it will be given that name that's where Oynish becomes different from anything that exists in the world because it's specifically telling you that from day one fruit and vegetables is on health promotion seasonally and it's focusing on the local products so by the time it reaches to menu stage in its more complex form Grandis put it in a classification structure because from day one the focus is on promoting fruit and veg. It becomes the feature in all the dishes. It combines with the proteins, it combines with the, the, the starches and other stuff. But the idea is grandies with a common D becomes that like it's like that university for primary school kids. By the time they grow up and things become more complex and they need more structure and order in a particular subject area to understand and so forth. The university is now a bigger platform now that put things into structure more, more, more distinguishable. And it's strange because you go to basic, we all have been to basic school or, and you see things are pretty basic and then you go to primary school which are a little bit more organized and then you go to high school you start to see the subjects all separated but then you go to university this time you're not only studying for example you might study chemistry in high school but when you go to university you're not just studying chemistry which chemistry is it relating to those 
chemical engineering, is it pure chemistry that you're going to do teaching with our different aspects of chemistry. So now you start to see it's classified. You're not just dealing with basic stuff now. It's all structured. That's what grandies add to the Oinish food. But also, I am grandies. And I'm sharing with you what I had to do when I started working with Oinish food. It was difficult because it, it did, I started doing jerk, <laughs> strangely enough. And the funny story is, okay, so I wanted to promote fruit and vegetable consumption. So when I was at university, I was thinking, I need a method to do so. And then I said, oh, jerk would be the best because then you had the marinating system. So I said, that could be like the transportation means by which I can use to at, at least indirectly start to get people used to the idea of eating fruit and veg, veg. But I was also thinking about myself to get used to eating more British fruit and veg that I used to ignore. However, so I said I'd go online because then I was working with various fruit and vegetables because it's about fruit and vegetable promotion. Yes, health promotion. So I started working with fruit and vegetables and lo and behold, I remember I ended up with 31 marinades and I was looking at a way to put structure to it because I had the citruses and I had exotic fruits and I had, I had root vegetables, I had different stuff and I was all over the place and I said okay I'm doing jerk marinade and so I said, mainly marinades and I said I'm going to go online and check in check the Jamaican archive system, whatever I can get access to, to see how Jamaica would classify jerk in terms of the marinade system. So, lo and behold, to my surprise, such probably it exists in the universe of the West Indies already so forth, but just ordinary online, I couldn't find a classification system. So there was no name, special name given to the citruses. What if you have special jerk marinades? that have to do with the citruses or with certain exotic fruits. There was no order structure to say this is what I call it or that's what I call it. My impression was not once I finished doing my little research with what was available online at the time. It's just one big jerk system. Yes, jerk, chicken, jerk, fish, but it never specified in terms of when you start to work with a lot of fruit and veg in jerk. Because when jerk was created, health promotion was not the ethos. And that's why jerk is it's what it is. It, does it mean that it's a bad stuff? No. It's got its, its own strength and it's, as you can tell, it's a global stuff. But in terms of health promotion, that's where it falls down. It cannot do health promotion as Irish can because it's not built on a health promotion model from day one. So I struggled. That's when I started trying to put order and structure. This is where the idea of grandy started to come about because I'm all thinking about I need to put structure to it for myself because I had no one to help me. So the exotic fruits I give them, I just started making up names. <laughs> I was laughing at the time because <laughs> well, no one else would have done it, so I said I did it myself. So the certain the exotic fruits I call them this. The um, citrus fruits I call that. The, these type of vegetables I call this. And I just give them weird names and I laughed at the time. <laughs> but little did I know that it was leading up to this moment where actually, with all these new words and classification system and structure, might as well have put it in a, long, a language order. And that's why Oinish, the language, exists today. So by the time it becomes more complex, Grandies had to be created now to deal with recipe development and many because once you start to get more complex when, when once you start to put many food groups together, it's not easy to call it Oinish anymore because it would be a very long name. So grandies now compound everything by putting them into different classes that makes it simpler. So Oinish need three things 
as a food to be called Oynish. Firstly, if you're going to call Oynish food Oynish food, you need the, 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 the seasoning, the condiments and so forth. You have to have it. At the moment, Jamaica Oynish Limited is the only one that have license to produce it. So that's, a, that's the, the start. Secondly, you need the seasonal chart. Oh, it's not here. You need the seasonal chart called Laurentine because not only does it work with seasonal, because you have many seasonal chart that does that, but it's the only one that deals with Oynish language and able to translate it. Obviously because I'm the one doing the translation because I'm the one who have to create it anyway. So that's the primary source and it works hand in hand. Plus, Grandis, Glorentine have the, 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 the equation that I use now in how to start combining single Oynish products and other fruit and veg that's on health promotion that haven't been oinified. But also, if they are also oinified, what would you call them? Or if they are out of season, what would you call them? Or if they were frozen and then used out of season, what would you call them? Gl Glorentine deals with that. No, it had that level of complexity in it that more, a bigger structure to harness all that that Oynish have to offer all that Glorentine have to offer and put it in a simple context that is easy for the public to use and Grandis is like the university that make it yes seem more complex but it put everything into smaller structures so Irish food exists on four stuff three things the condiments that triggers everything the seasonal chart but also grandies that deals with menu development and recipe development for Irish food and it's the only system that deals with that but also all three are my names and I'm giving you myself and I'm hoping that as time goes by I'm able to actually benefit my community or wherever I go in the world because you know what we're all in this together you know we all have to help build each other up. And we know things will get worse in world events, climate changes, this, with climate change, a lot of things are been happening. Then you have terrorism, you've got health problems, then you've got COVID, and so many stuff happening. But we can start making small steps with what we can do. So in my part, I'm working on food development. This is a new Jamaican stuff. And I start with Oynish, with Glorentine to give the seasonality and Grandis act as a university to class everything, menus and recipes into its respective place that the public know can make sense of a bigger equation in terms of a smaller one. Thank you.